Hello and welcome here to Talking SCP and welcome back here to the channel guys for another video. Now what we're going to be doing in this video is a brand new series they're going to start doing and we're basically going to take a look at the month ahead in terms of Barcelona fixtures just to see what we're up against in the month, how many fixtures do we have and how have we sort of got to rotate to get around those games and get the maximum amount of points that we possibly can from that particular period. So this series is in association with OneFootball, I've discussed them in the past quite a lot. It is an app that I use myself. The link for that is in the description down below, guys. I'm not saying that you've got to go and download it, but what I'm saying is it is a good app. I do use it myself for Barcelona News. You can look at stats in-game as well, pre-game. They offer quite a few different things to do with La Liga, so they are worth checking out. They're a good company, and they're a very, very good app there, providing news and updates on all of Europe's top flight leagues. So basically, onto the video, guys, we're going to be discussing Barcelona fixtures over the course of the month of September, and we will have six fixtures in that time. So we'll be averaging one game exactly every five days. So that's quite a strenuous schedule. I think, you know, if this was in the middle of the season, you wouldn't really think too much of it. But at the very start of the season, in the sort of first big month of the new campaign, players aren't exactly match fit just yet. They're certainly getting there. But I wouldn't say they're absolutely 100% ready to go. I think they will start to feel it. I think we will need to rotate our squad. We've got four league matches in total with two Champions League group stage matches over the course of the month as well. It was very nearly seven matches in the month of September, but the last Palmas game at home has been scheduled for October the 1st. That could have been scheduled for September, but that is now October the 1st. So in September, six fixtures coming up, and we're going to be looking over every single one of them and seeing what we need to do to escape with maximum points in September. So we're going to be kicking off the month on the 9th of September. Barcelona against Espanyol, the local derby kicking off at the camp now. That's going to be taking place at 8.45 local time and that is happening this Saturday. I'll have a preview for that as I will for all of these games coming up very, very shortly. Guys, the Espanyol preview I'm going to get with you on around Thursday. But looking at this game in just a little bit of detail, it's going to be a feisty affair. It always is Espanyol against Barcelona, whether it's at the camp now or whether it's away from home. It's always a feisty encounter. They're going to come, they're going to put in some really fiery challenges, they're going to get stuck in, and they're going to try and make his life as difficult as they possibly can in the camp now. But what I would say is, we're a better team than Espanyol, we've got better players, we've shown that over many, many years now. All we've got to do is focus on the job in hand. We shouldn't get tied down in these individual duels. The one thing about not having Neymar this year is kind of an advantage in that way, because he did used to get involved in a lot of sort of 1v1s, there was a lot of fiery encounters surrounding Neymar, players getting frustrated with his actions. Hopefully we won't get that as much this season, but we just need to focus on the football. We're a better team on the day. We need to beat them, get the three points, and get off the pitch. What I would say about this, though, it's going to be very, very interesting to see Ernesto Valverde's team selection, because this game is going to be coming right off the back of an international break. We don't know how players are going to be feeling. You know, the likes of Lionel Messi, Mascherano, of course, coming on from long-distance flights from South America, and of course, you've got the Juventus game in mind. That will take place on the coming Tuesday, so there's not much recovery time from Espanyol to the Juventus game, and that Juventus game is absolutely massive so early on in the season, so it's going to be really interesting to see the team that Valverde goes with, and of course with those steely challenges from Espanyol bearing in mind as well. They're going to come in, they're going to be forceful, and you don't want to pick up any niggly injuries ahead of that massive game against Juventus on that Tuesday. So all in all, our main objective in this game of course is going to be to get the three points, but we've got to use our squad wisely. We've got to pick a squad in this game that's going to get us over the line but we also need to reserve ourselves and make sure that everybody is fresh for that absolutely colossal Champions League group stage match against Juventus at the Camp Nou. That game itself will be kicking off on Tuesday the 12th of September just three days following our game against Espanyol and that too will be at quarter to nine local time. It's early in the season for a game like this. A lot of the time you know these Champions League group stage matches you go you play and there's not an awful lot of pressure on either team if you're a team like Barcelona, Bayern Munich, PSG, you're going to get through your group either way. But this is a very, very big game. I think it's a big test for Ernesto Valverde. We're going to have to see what he's got. And I think it's a big test for the squad as well. What sort of squad have we got this year? And it just makes it even more pressurised for me simply because of the way that we exited the Champions League last season at the hands of Juventus. We're looking for revenge. We're looking to see whether our squad has improved at all since last season. So I think it's really important this in this game to get the three points. And the reasoning for that is, well, the psychology 
of it. If you get the three points now, we beat the Juventus at home, three points on the board, and then they've got to play catch up. You know, we've got to go to Juventus later on in, you know, the Champions League campaign in the reverse fixture of this one, and the pressure won't be on so much. We won't have to win that game. We'll simply have to not lose it. So I think if we can get the three points, it's a really good marker to set down early on. It puts the pressure more on Juventus than us, and I think that would be a really, really good positive start to the season and a really, really good start to our Champions League campaign. But Juve have started the season very well. They've won two out of two games in Serie A, scoring seven goals in the process. So it's not going to be an easy game. They're going to come. They're going to be resolute. They're going to be very solid defensively. We know all about Juventus. We saw that last season at the camp now when we simply couldn't break them down. So that's why I'm so excited to see what Valverde's got up his sleeve. What sort of team is he going to select for this type of game? And what sort of formation and system is he going to go with to break down that very resolute Juventus defence? We will be finding that out on Tuesday, the 12th of September. And four days later from that, we will be heading to the Coliseum to face newly promoted Hetafe. And what I would say about this game, guys, do not underestimate it. Hetafe have just been promoted. They're never a good team in La Liga. They've always been one that have been flirting with relegation. But always when we go to the Coliseum, we always seem to make it really difficult for ourselves. So we shouldn't underestimate Hetafe. We've got to go there. We've got to play our usual game. It's going to be, once again, very interesting to see what sort of team Valverde goes with. How much is he going to rotate in these games? Because we're going to be playing Espanyol. A few days later, we've got Juve, and then a few days after that, we've got Hetafe away. So what sort of rotations is he going to use? Is he going to rotate heavily? What sort of team are we going to see going into this game? What we do know is that Hetafe are going to make it very difficult for us. They're one of those teams that are based in the Madrid area, so they really don't like Barcelona. They're going to be putting everything on the line to do their neighbours a favour, which never really makes sense to me that that's just the way that it is. They've started the season pretty me mediocre. You know, they just got one point from their opening two matches of the season, but one of those points was gained against Athletic Club at the new San Mamés, so that was a good point for them and it's going to be interesting to see what sort of shape we're in you know after the UV game that could take a lot out of us we've got to get that focus back on the league campaign we cannot be affording to make any sort of mistakes we've got to keep that lead against Real Madrid now we've got a two point gap between the two of us already and we cannot afford to make our own mistakes we've got to keep our eye on the ball make the rotations where are necessary and we've got to take everybody as very very seriously as we can because at half will be a match they will pose a threat we've got to neutralize that and win this game absolutely sure of it and then just three days after that we take on Abar at the camp now on Tuesday the 19th of September 10 o'clock local time that one is kicking off and you see what I mean it is a lot of games in a very short space of time a lot of midweek games a lot of short breaks in between not an awful lot of time for recovery so our squad and our depth in our squad is going to be absolutely key in the month ahead we're really going to see what we're made of in these games because a lot of the lot of them, you know, they may not be, you know, easy games. They may not be really difficult ones as well. They're still going to test us. They're still going to test the depth of our squad and how fit we are, how they can cope with these games at the start of the season. A bar at home is not going to be an easy game either. You know, they're resolute. They're very good defensively. They're going to come to the camp now. They're going to make it very, very difficult for us. Once again, though, it is a game that we should be expecting to win. We've got a better team, of course. A bar have done incredibly well since they came into La Liga. A really, really small budget they operate on but they've done a fantastic job. So far this season, they've won a game and lost one. They got three points. They won away at Malaga in their last game, which they picked up their points from. But like I say, they're going to come. They're going to make it difficult, but we've got to get through that. We've got to once again make sure that we're concentrated. Valverde is going to make the right team selection. That's a real constant over these period of games. Valverde is going to have a really big month ahead. It's going to decide what sort of start of the season we have, whether the positive energy can keep it going. He's got to make the right decisions. He's got to make the right call with rotation and we're going to see how good those calls are after these batch of games is over if we're successful it will be largely down to the rotation and the management of Ernesto Valverde and I really really do hope that it goes well for him the penultimate game in September is against Girona 23rd of September that one will be at quarter to nine local time and it will be our first visit to Girona our neighbours they're very very close to Barcelona in terms of where they're situated and the atmosphere at this game I can tell you now is 
going to be absolutely outstanding. Their first game at home in La Liga was against Atletico Madrid, and it was absolutely rocking inside the stadium. And they did a really good start to La Liga. And by the way, Girona are not going to be any pushovers whatsoever. They've already taken points of Atletico Madrid. They got a point on that day. They should not be underestimated under any circumstances. They very easily could have beaten Atletico Madrid in that first game of the season. They won last time out as well. So they've had an unbeaten start to the season so far. And this game really will be a game where we're going to be tested. It's going to be a difficult away ground to go to. And we're certainly going to need to be at our best. It's following that game against Sabar. There's quite a bit of recovery time there in the game between Tuesday and Saturday. So we should get most of our players back. But once again, after this game, we've got yet another midweek Champions League match. So there's going to be eyes on that. We're going to have that in mind when Valverde is picking his team. So always when he's making his team selections in this month, he's going to have to have his eye on the next fixture. That's always got to be the message. If we can pick up the points in the games, then look to the next one. That's got to be our mentality. We've got to keep that going. And the game against Hirona will not be an easy one. But once again, you've got to say you expect us to win it. It's away from home. It's a difficult stadium to go to. They're a bit of an unknown quantity in the way that they play, the what the threats they possess. They've got old Espanol striker Christian Stuani up front who's got a few goals for them already this season. He's going to be a threat in the air. But I think what we need to do is win the game once again. I'm saying it very, very much, but it's very, very true. All we've got to do at this stage of the season is get those points on the board, get that momentum going, keep that confidence in the squad and keep that gap between us and Real Madrid. Keep building on what we started to do. We've won two out of two games so far. We've got to keep that league form going and we've got to keep stacking up those wins in the league where we're very much expected to do so against Hirona on Saturday, the 23rd of September. And then our final game of the month is on Wednesday, the 27th of September, and that will kick off at quarter to nine local time. Another Champions League group stage match. This time we will be taking on Sporting Lisbon away from home in the group stage. And this one as well, like I said, many of these games in September, this one really won't be easy. Sporting Lisbon have had a really, really good start to the season. They've won four out of four games in Liga Nos, and they're very, very confident right now. And they'll definitely be feeling like they could take points enough because to be fair to Portuguese teams, you know, a lot of the time in the Champions League, they do make appearances in the group stage occasionally and they do get out of their group and they're always quite good at home. So I'll be very, very wary of Sporting Lisbon. We'll need to go there with the right attitude. We do have a bit of a break between Hirona and Sporting. At least this game takes place on the Wednesday and not the Tuesday, but it will be still a big game for us. We need to go there and get the three points. I think we're going to be sort of hoping that Juventus slip up in one of these types of games, either away to Sporting or away to Olympiacos. That could be the possible break that we need in the group, but we ourselves need to make sure that we're winning in these games away from home in the Champions League. So that's the six games that we've got coming up. Ideally, of course, we'd like six wins. We'd like maximum points from every single game. Realistically, I think we should be expecting to win all four of our La Liga games. They're not exactly what you call difficult, but they do come at quite difficult times, some of them. So Valverde is going to have to manage the squad in the best way that he can. I think from our two Champions League games, we'll be hoping for at least four points. Possibly at the camp now, you could draw against Juventus or if you beat Juventus maybe then the draw against Sporting Lisbon away but ideally once again you'd be looking at six points if we can possibly get it if we can win all of these games it would be outstanding six out of six in a very difficult month would be a fantastic result for the squad but ultimately you want to be winning those four league games and then in the Champions League you want to be staying unbeaten you've got to make sure that you don't lose to Juventus in that home game hopefully we can win it and hopefully we can have a very very good month indeed to start the season in the best possible way so leave your thoughts down below guys on our fixtures on our schedule what do you think of the fixes coming up how do you think that Ernesto Valverde will deal with those what sort of games do you think that we should be heavily rotating in or should we be avoiding doing that should we try to play the best team that we have as often as we possibly can or should we look at some of these games and making sure that we're rotating our squad leave me all of your thoughts down below guys always look forward to hearing your opinions thank you as always for tuning in and watching I really do appreciate your constant support I'll be back very, very soon with more videos, of course. But until then, as always, Vesca El Barça. Barça, Barça.